Adora was planning an early demise for Camille using the rat poison as an accelerated killing technique. After several hours of constant poisoning and sickness, Camille asks Adora if she's going to die. Adora replies, we're all going to die, Camille, implying that she finally has a hold over the willful Camille she could never control before. It also calls into question whether Adora suspected Camille had knowledge of the intentional poisoning of Amma and Marion. Alan is concerned and suspicious that Adora is intentionally making Amma sick and is going to poison Camille. He calls her out, stating, Don't go overboard, let the girls rest. To which Adora replies, I'm just helping nature along. He feigns obliviousness by replying, It's your area, walking away with a look of concern, but no real plan for taking any action. This is further cemented when he implores Amma to go back to bed, reminding her that this is not the time to insert yourself. He's obviously saying this for Amma's sake, as well as his own, to remind himself that Adora is controlling the situation. In the book, Alan is oblivious to everything Adora is doing and is not a concerned or prominent character. Amma murdered May, her friend, in St. Louis. The teeth in Amma's dollhouse make it clear Amma was the murderer of the two girls in Wind Gap, but it was very quickly glossed over in the credits that she had also murdered May in St. Louis. In the final few scenes, May's mother comes to Camille asking if she had seen her daughter. Camille said they went to the park together. In the credit scenes, we see briefly that Amma is murdering May at the park. In the book, May's body is found and she is missing all of her teeth, allowing Camille instant realization that Amma is the true murderer. Amma is an anagram for Mama. Because her mama raised her on poison, and she has to please her in every way, Amma became a murderer. Imitating her mama is Amma's sincerest form of flattery. She subconsciously realized that her mama was also a murderer. This is also a huge clue in pointing to the fact that Amma was the child killer all along.